Before using the current clamp, you need to install a 9 volt 6F20 to battery, like this. Move the slider switch to turn on the current clamp and select the volt amputer you want to use. Turn on the oscilloscope. If the channel wave has offset from the center of the screen, please do self-calibration before the measurement. Press utility key on the front panel, press F6, soft key to turn the menu to next page. Press calibrate soft key to do the self-calibration. Note the calibration should be done after oscilloscope. Warm up for about half an hour, don't connect any probe or test leads on the BNC connectors when lose F. Calibration Connect the current clamp to channel 1. Press the round button on the current clamp to zero. Press channel 1 button to display channel 1 menu. Press F1 soft key to set the coupling to a C. Before measuring the current, you need to connect the main power to a big power consumption electric device. Like a new electric kettle. When the hot kettle is working, the current will be generated, then you can measure. If the power cord has three wires inside, you need to peel off the outer protective layer like this. The brown wire is the life, blue is now, and yellow green is the earth. To measure the current, you can either clip the lead wire or the null wire. Don't clip the earth wire. Adjust the voltage of the channel, then set the time base to display the best wave to observe. You can display the signal voltage RMS value to calculate the current value you measured. Connected to the null wire, you can measure the current as well. 